Welcome to Operation Research class. Today we are going to learn the transportation problem. In transportation problem, we are going to solve with the help of NWCR method. NWCR stands for North West Corner method. Okay. So this is the uh, basic method of solving the transportation problem. So North West Corner. When we read out the map, we have an idea that the upper side is the north, lower side is the south. Okay, and this is west and this is east. So try to think this given problem as a this is north and this is south. This is west. Okay. And then the corner we are looking for that. So this corner, okay. So this corner we want to see in this sum. So normally the sums are given in a tabular format. You have to write down the supply over here and demand over here. And these are the values of each sale. For example, from factory one to warehouse one, it will cost you forty two. Then again, the factory two to warehouse one, it will cost you thirty four. So these are the value given. to do the transportation of particular material from factory to the particular warehouse so what is our main objective to find out the minimum transportation cost which will be beneficial for the organization right now how to do that now see this is our north and this is our west and we are looking for north west corner okay so you have to you are standing here now you have to look at the Top most northwest corner cell. These are the cells. Okay, these are the cells. So you have to look at the top most northwest corner cell. So here, if you see this, this is the top most. Means behind that there is a no cell. Okay. We, if you are choosing this, that is wrong because still there is one more cell available here, right? So you have to choose this top most northwest corner cell. So we chose the forty two. Okay. Once you chose that, now you have to change the supply of that cell. So supply is eleven, right? And demand is six. So once you change the demand and supply of that chosen cell, you have to select the minimum out of supply and demand. So what is the minimum? Six, because eleven is bigger. So you directly put that six over here, right? Once you put that six here. That amount you have to subtract from demand and supply. Okay, this sales demand and supply you have to subtract. So it will become a zero. It will become a five. Right? I'll repeat again. You have to. This is the north side. This is the west side. From northwest corner, topmost northwest corner, we have to select. Okay. Once you select that, you have to check the supply and demand. Then out of that, whichever is the lower, you have to. Write down in that cell, allocate that, allocate in that cell. Then that number you have to subtract from both the supply and demand. Okay. Now once you've done that, now you can see that warehouse one is having a demand zero now, right? So there is a in future we cannot do anything or we cannot fulfill. Uh, they are, they don't want anything. They are done with their demand. So we have to cancel that. So you have to just draw the line. So there is, we cannot do anything with the warehouse one in future. Is it okay? Now this is the remaining sum. Three. These are the nine sales are remaining. Again, we have to see the northwest corner. So this one is the north topmost, topmost northwest corner. Thirty-two. You have to select this. Again, you have to check the supply and demand for that. So demand is ten, supply is five, right? So when you have a, you have to choose the small one. So five is the small one. So you have to subtract from both. So here it will become a zero. It will become five, right? So now again, now factory one is done with their supply. They say that okay, now we this much only we can supply. We have done. So you have to cancel the factory one from the sum, right? Now you can see that only this sum is remaining, three by three matrix, right? Now again, topmost northwest corner. So topmost is thirty six, right? So thirty six having a demand supply thirteen, demand five. So which one is the smallest one? Demand so five. This will become a zero. This will become a eight. Right. So now who is done with that? Warehouse two is done with their demand. So you have to cancel that. Right. Next, this is the remaining sum. The topmost northwest corner is twenty-eight. Northwest corner is twenty-eight. So you have to select that. You have to check the supply is eight. Demand is twelve. So smallest one is eight. 
So you have to select that. It will become a zero. It will become a four. Now factory two is done with their supply, so we have to cancel the factory two. Is that okay? Now what is remaining? Only thirty six and eighty two. So topmost north face corner. So thirty six. So thirty six is having a demand four and supply nineteen. So smallest one is a four. So it will become a zero. It will become a fifteen. Right. So warehouse three is done with their demand. We have to cancel that. Now this is the only sale remaining still. This is the topmost northwest corner. So both supply and demand same. So we can allocate the fifteen. It will become a zero. It will become a zero. Right. Now the, you can cancel if you want. Otherwise there is no more sum remaining. So we uh, there is no need of doing anything. Okay. So. This is the way of solving the northwest corner method. One more thing, I told you, forgot you. The first thing when you start solving, before that you have to check whether this problem is balanced or not. So how to check the balance? You have to do the total of this demand. So six plus ten, sixteen. Sixteen plus twelve, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight plus fifteen, thirty-three, forty-three. Okay. So total is forty-three. Again, you have to do the total of supply. Eleven plus thirteen. Twenty-four, twenty-four plus nineteen, forty-three. So both the totals are same. It means that was a balance problem. Okay. So this was the balance problem because the total of demand and total of supply is same. So what is balance problem? Total of demand is equal to total of supply. Right. So that is the Balance problem. Now these are the 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 amount which we allocated. That is called the allocated sale. So this one is allocated. 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 So total six allocations are there. Total six. So how to calculate the transportation cost now? So transportation cost. So it's very easy. Select the allocated sale. Six is the allocation. Multiply by value is forty two. Right plus another allocation. Pi is the allocation. Value is thirty-two. Plus pi is the allocation. Pi is the allocation and value is thirty-six. Plus eight is the allocation and value is twenty-eight. Plus four is the allocation. Value is thirty-six. Plus fifteen is the allocation. And value is eighty two. So now we need to do the calculation of this. Okay. So the total will become two one nine zero. Okay. So this is your cost of transportation. Right. So again, I'll tell you. This is the NWCR method to solve the transportation problem. We have to see the topmost northwest corner method, and then you have to select that. Then you have to check the supply and demand. Out of that, whichever smaller, you have to allocate and subtract from that particular supply and demand. Like that, you have to repeat the whole process. Once you are done with the all the allocation, you have to check all the demand should be zero at the end of sum, and all the supply should be zero at the end of the. Uh, so and then and then only you can say that you have done properly and then we calculate the transportation cost with allocated sale only allocation multiply by value plus like that so that will become a transportation cost so this was the NWCR method for further video you uh, for further topics you can watch my further videos and any suggestions any feedback please welcome and uh, I'm telling you please subscribe my channel if you want particular lectures. Please uh, WhatsApp me on my WhatsApp number. Okay, topics so I am able to upload the new videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching.